Let's look to the future. True Whale, who's here to defend his legend title up against Angry Marmot. Whoa. So if we're going into round one, is this, Evan, is this 2v2 or or is this SWC mode one on one? We're seeing a cracker ban here in, in the pre-ban section. That is, that's that's unheard of. I mean, we, we labeled them as specific earlier. I don't think I could think of a more specific pre-ban than a cracker. Yep, well, we're going to see these two digging into each other's boxes a whole lot. Dak Onimusha going to be a unit uh, that True Will is going to be taking away because both players have a very similar draft style right now. Nikki, something that both these players have been taken with, obviously, that uh, Mormont's going to be taking that unit here. Angry Mormont's going to be taking that unit here. And then a Dominic that we have seen uh, be utilized from True Will. I'm not too sure he's still utilizing the, the Dominic as much nowadays, but Shizuka Ragdoll locked in for True Will. Oh, I really like True Whale's draft. I, I love seeing the own Yuki get play. He's made it to the top of the tier list for the G3 category for good reason, offering so much damage, even if he's not stunned. And here's Angry Marmot bringing a stun into it. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a Water Ryu coming out here. I feel like True Whale probably should see this because it's got to be a speed lead and probably another strip attack bar reduction because I feel like he needs something to go ahead of this uh, Illudia. And it's going to be a Kalos here. Kalos. Oh, Kalos. oh my God, my man, my boy. I'm so excited. I love this unit. This is like stylish Raok. And I can't think of a time when we've seen Carlos at the Legend Tournament stage. We've certainly seen him in America's Cup before, but this is pretty hype, and he's definitely making it in because he is not the most threatening unit on the table. Yep, HP leads for both players here. The Eludia and the Sekhmet are going to get the ban out. I'm expecting right side Angry Moment to be taking first turn. Let's see what happens here. This should be a very quick Nikki as well. Yes, in theory. So Wind Robo doing skill two. Ideally, you want to see the Nikki going right after that with skill three. And Nana will not be able to land wow. anything. Shizuka can't do too much here. Oh, that's a nice that's a nice immunity to dodge the That's stun, exactly though. what that was. He used the third skill to get his immunity up here and He's not, I mean, he's not going to get a ton of value if he goes in with the third and needed to heal himself up there, which is quite interesting that he decided to go with the damage instead. This right here could be the game ender, depending on how much damage we see come out here. The confirmed kill on Ongyuki gives Carlos a passive here. The Nana is going to be feeding the Carlos the whole time. Skill one, one more. Woo! One more coming out. Oh, he gets caught by the ragdoll. Wait, 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 I don't know why he ch didn't chose to get the defense break on top of the Wind Robo, because if he finished off the Wind Robo, he would have got an orb there. That oh. may have been a misclick. May have been, actually. Dude, this Carlos was just a perfect pick into the Nana, though. If there's a unit that Carlos loves truly oh. in this game, And there's it's the cleanse Nana. heal, and there's nothing True Will can do about this. Man, if you told me that we were going to see Carlos shine today, Stoic, I wouldn't have believed uh, you. That was a, a, a quick ending to that one as well. Uh, I smell I smell a misclick on that with that defense break. It was just very obvious. And uh, Carlos is not the target well, there. <laughs> you know what else, though? He would have gotten a turn even if the wind robo passed away, Stoic. That's the cool thing. I love that about Carlos is he doesn't care who's, who right. died. He's attending the funeral. That's what his passive is doing. He's going to be there. He's... And I truly hope that one day someone loves me to the same extent that Carlos loves Nana. You know, like he just loves to see that unit feeds off the Soul Stone. Awesome. What a fun game. Definitely was a fun game. It's so crazy to see those two high vault units like that. You know, Weapon Masters, they're able to pump out so much damage and get crazy amount of turns off of all these kills. It is very exciting to watch there. Let's see what happens though. we get into round number two between True Will and Angry Mormon. And True Whale has what it takes to get a point on the board here, Stoic. We know this man will not go down without a fight, and he is up for a repeat on Legend titles right now, bringing him up to a total of three. Let's check the pre-bans. I don't think we, we're going to see something quite like Kraka. Turns out we're not seeing something in that category. We got the Wind Robo and Volantis, both generally good pre-bans. Yeah, he knew how fast that Wind Robo was. That's a great pre-ban, knowing how fast it was. Volantis getting the pre-ban out here in both units. I mean, both units, uh, both players, uh, really putting so much priority on this uh, Dakoni Musha. True Will looking to get a 33 speed lead in the form of Oliver on his side of the field, as well as this Masha. Nice 
opener from True Whale going for the opposite of what his opponent is going for. It looks like he really wants that turn one, whereas Angry Marmot is kind of trading. It yeah, is, is Angry Moment doing True Whale's draft in the first round? So then True Whale should just do Angry Moment's draft <laughs> that he did in the first the, round. This but, is the different Spider-Man meme of like, you know, pointing at each other. You know, <laughs> this, is, this is that. We had that this exactly. morning in chat. That's crazy that that happened again today. And there's the more that we foreshadowed last game and the Nikki makes a return. But everything else on that side is play drives from True Whale's team. Yep, so keep in mind that Shizuka is faster than the Nikki, but that'll depend. Is the more going to come through? We'll see. We'll see, because the more could be there to push back the attack bars, and then we're not going to have a, um, a Shizuka pop out here. We'll see. We've got Molly, Molly as the last pick for True Whale, though, as he locks it in. Yeah, you know, I, I liked both of those last pick options from True Whale. Uh, Molly's cool because she interrupts the cleave in progress. Abelio would have protected doesn't matter. Angry Marmot's going to ban out the Molly, and Nana is banned on Angry Marmot's side. Now, after seeing the Molly, I would have figured the Dakwini Mushu was going to be getting banned out here, but we'll see what happens with the speed lead for Angry Marmot and HP lead for True Whale. And what a beefy speed lead it is for True Whale, but more is, then, is nonetheless going to take that opening turn. Go for skill two. A nice, a nice proc of revenge from the Tessari on there, Stoic. Yeah, nice revenge right onto that passive there. So it's not going to be a unit that can really save itself anymore with the passive down. No defense break is going to be landing on top of the problem. Max resistance, Nikki. A ton of damage coming out from this deck. Onimusha, Shizuka barely holds on. There is not much in this world that I fear more than an attack buffed on Gyuki Stoic. That thing really does some serious damage, even if it wasn't controlled Oh, prior. the resistance! No attack bar pushback here. That means this Shizuka is definitely getting dropped. Uh-oh. There she goes, all of her first. Shizuka shortly after. There are two units left on the side of True Whale. Is this about to be a 2-0 from Angry Marmot? That's 100% true. That will be a uh, 2-0 for Angry Moment here. There's not much True Will to do about that. No attack bar reduction that he got in that one. Definitely did him in there. And there's the 2-0, guys. Well done, Angry Moment.